as leaders, we have a responsibility, and it's a big one. Uh, we have a responsibility for everyone around us, but it starts with us, and we have a responsibility to continually seek improvement. And it's really hard to do that by yourself. You, you need someone that can help open your eyes to constructive feedback, um, someone that can push you and challenge you to get uncomfortable. Dan has got a great knack of being able to really reinforce positives. She's, she's great at giving praise. Uh, at the same time, uh, she's tough as heck, right? And she will challenge you and she will hold you accountable and, and she will push you way out of your comfort zone. Um, drives, drives me nuts at times. But I also know that the greatest growth came when she pushed me into those spaces of being uncomfortable and being vulnerable. I found uh, I'm more patient and um, trying to be, I think if you're more patient, maybe you're not in as much of a rush to the next thing, the next conversation, the next meeting. The benefit is you're just more present and more genuine and um, more understanding of the needs of the, the, the person that's in front of you. The highlight of working with Yan through the engagement is the, the experience-based coaching that brings together mind and body. A lot of our conversations are probably intellectual-based, but when you get out into the field and you're doing something, whether it's at an art museum or an aquarium or a herd of horses, you start um, realizing that there is some kind of a connection. And these are all things that can be paralleled back to the business world and leadership and all about presence, really, all about your presence. Highlight of the engagement was going out and, and experiencing some things outside of, outside of my case, outside of the bank building.